Mackey here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. So wherever you're listening to this, make sure you subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. Um, we'll get to some voicemails coming up in the next few episodes. Also, um, we'll just scramble through our DMs and on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. It's Pat and JT, so make sure you slide in. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's not creepy the at heads, all. The heads up. Slide on in. <laughs> uh, Speaking of not creepy at all. It's, and it, it, I'm sorry, Julie, you thought this was creepy. I it wasn't think, creepy. I think it's hilarious. I love it. Um, Julie sent us a message on Facebook and apologizing for coming up and saying hi to me at the courthouse in Sarpy County. She just County. happened to see you there. And right. she's like, oh my gosh. Right. And and she was super nice. And she actually helped me find the, where I was supposed to go. So Julie, you're a lifesaver. But I was, it was at the worst possible time for me to look like a, a fumbling, bumbling idiot. I just walked through the security check. Yeah. And I had my wallet, my phone, my keys, my sunglasses, Everything's my gum. in your hand. Everything's in my hand and I'm and it's there's and jury lost. and the, I was in the middle of the okay you know like on Nemo when all the fish are swirling yeah that's what it was like because it's jury selection day so there oh. are a million people there and here wow. I am in the middle holding my crap and then I see uh, Julie walk up and yeah what'd she say uh, she just said hey uh, she was just saying hey how's it going nice to see you I love listening to the podcast and did she say hey Pat she did okay all right she's yeah. just like hey yeah she was hey weirdo hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, she said, "Hey, Pat," and she was super nice. loves the loves the podcast. And I, then I, and I watched her walk away because I'm thinking, I don't know where I'm going, and she works here. So if I get lost, she's gonna help me. So sure enough, dig, 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 I walked over and and I thank God she's sitting right there where I could see her in the hallway. And I'm like, "You, Julie, hey. <laughs> where am I going?" So she helped me. It was awesome. It was so funny because at that time, um, I was doing some other stuff, and ding, I get a notification. And she sends a real quick message, a little, little direct message. Oh, and I wasn't even here yet? I no. I wasn't back yet? That's no, that's, awesome. that's what's so funny. And if you pull it up real quick and you can uh, share, because it was, uh, I laughed when I saw it. That's awesome. That's great. Good for you. Because yeah. she's never, here's the deal. She's listened to us for a long time. And she, so she, she knows us. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and I get that because we share things. And so you, you do, and don't ever apologize when, and, and a lot of people do, they'll come up and they'll say, I just feel like I know you and I'm sorry. I know this is creepy and it's not creepy. It's super compliment. It's, it's super nice. Yeah. And, um, so she wrote a note, uh, to apologize real quick. She says, um, this is from Julie. <laughs> I saw Pat at the courthouse this morning. I hope everything went well. Sorry for the creepy approaching you. LOL. I've listened to you guys for so long. I feel like I know you all just needed to, uh, just wanted to, now I just need to see JT. So she's never seen us in person. Yeah. So that's pretty cool that she recognized you. Right. Really? Uh, and I was actually thinking this morning when I'm getting dressed that I got like puffy eyes going. I didn't even look like myself. I was tired. No. Nope. But well, nope. thanks, Julie. She that's even a were. triple compliment now. That was very nice. Jury selection day, man. You've never done jury, have you? No, I, I haven't. I've always wanted to be on a jury. But after seeing that, that disaster this morning, I don't know if I want to do a <laughs> Jury, <laughs> a lot of weird smells, a lot of weird, just people mumbling yeah. to themselves, not happy to be there. I got, when did I get called? It was, it was this year, wasn't it? Or was it last fall? It was last fall. It was last fall. So I'm off the list now because I think you're on for like three months or something. But I was, I was called to it for jury. And then you have to call the night before just to make sure that it didn't get settled out of court and that you're still expected to be there. And so when I called the night before it had gotten settled, so I didn't have to go in the next morning. Um, I mean, I've done the jury selection one time, but it was for a federal court. Yeah. Not for a, Ooh, legit. Yeah. yeah. No I think it was deal. a federal, like, no, maybe it's district court. I anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever. But uh, it was a, a drug case. And it was pretty interesting, except for the fact in the end, uh, I think that it, it was a mistrial because there was um, something was filled out wrong. I would be so mad. Ugh. I would be so that <laughs> the justice system and he is was so frustrating. So guilty. Oh, he was so guilty. You're guilty. <laughs> You're guilty. So You're so lucky. <laughs> You're guilty. But like transposed numbers or something like that. And there was undercover guy. I'm sure the, that was the guy who did it is and, like, oh, I did what happened? I did. And he looks over to his counsel. Is this legit? Am I? I'm out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. Criminal shaped hole in the wall as he runs through <laughs> dust. One hand like up, on, one hand down. Yeah, like on Scooby Doo. I'm out. Exactly. Exactly. So that was the last time that I've been in a courtroom. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So well, pretty lucky, cool stuff. Lucky you. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, but I did. I'm not going to go to a courtroom. It wasn't that bad. Had a little fender bender recently right and you you told us in the office like a day later and you're like, oh hey by the way um Hello, see you guys Fender tomorrow ben. did i tell you guys i had an accident yesterday <laughs> like super high pitched like you're trying to hide something and we're like Arr! 
<laughs> what? It was just a slight little boomp. Um, yeah, unfortunately, but I was the one that did the bumping. And I just kind of booped. It didn't, I mean, like, we were at a standstill. And I rolled into him. Boop. Yeah. He ends up with a... Most expensive boop you've ever had. His was a dink. Mine, three grand. Right. So dumb. <laughs> So like, dumb. How on earth? It's like you you break one thing on cars now. Cars, not pickups. Cars. You break one piece on a car. The entire thing is right. is like has, goes it's to a, hell. It's a racket. You it is an absolute racket. Everything. And I felt so bad. I, and I went to um, to Shadow Lake Collision, and Fernando helped me. By the way, very Thanks, nice Fernando. guy. Yes, super super nice guy. Uh, slick slick little uh, setup they've got down there. But yeah, he was he was just shaking his head. He's like, well, unfortunately, when this hit here, it broke this and then it pushed this and you see how that's out of line over here. Yeah, and then yes, you come around Fernando. here and it made that buckle over here. And it was just like dominoes down the side of my car. I'm like, I wasn't even moving. I said, what would, what would this car look like if the airbags had deployed? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you weren't even going fast enough for the airbags to go off. Hell no. That's BS. I mean, <laughs> that is, even, that's BS. nothing even fell off the seat. I mean, it was just like, dunk. And, and it doesn't look, it looks more like a dunk, more than a dunk. It's, it looks bad. It, it, was it hardly, does. It really does. It does. And it was hardly anything, but it, unfortunately it just, <laughs> well, well, my stupid gas lid, I mean, that was a $900 gas, fix because yeah. it's all attached to one component. You had to, it's the whole quarter panel. You have to really replace the entire car. Yeah. <laughs> to so, get a new cover like, for you. We know what you're what doing. did you ever do that with that? By the way, did you just tape it shut? Oh, I didn't even need to tape it shut. It just, just wedges it, in there. Yep. <laughs> I just, what I do is when I go get gas, I have to stick my nail in there about Probably four times. I dink slides away. Dink slams. Dink slams. I finally dink and take my other pinky and lift it open. I'll do that for the rest of my life to save me 800 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, car repairs are the worst. That's awesome. And he did, he felt bad, but he's, he's like super hustling on it. And so it, it's not going to be near as painful. That's the first time. Yeah. First time I've had fault? an accent. that was my fault. Yeah. That's this pretty is good. The, this is the first time that I've had to. I'm like, I don't even know what to do. What am I supposed to do? And then I said, okay, so you need my car to fix it for a couple of days. Uh, do I have rental insurance? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, dude, I'm Fernando at the body shop. You need to call insurance says, person. You need to call Victoria at uh, the insur- at Nationwide on my side. Yeah, they, they um, are apparently. So yeah, so give them a call and nope, <laughs> I don't. So I'm thinking all the money that I've saved over the years by not having that little yeah. add on. Because I've never needed to right. utilize it before. And you won't need it for that many days. No, it's just yeah. a couple of days. Yeah. yeah. So no big deal. But anyway, yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Jack by was the way, with did, me I, too. did I tell you guys I got a <laughs> What was that? What was that? It's a little accident. Did I say I said Door shut. What? What'd you say? Accident? So what am I supposed to do now? I don't even know what to do right now. Usually it's somebody hit me and I just call my insurance guy Just and do say, everything you used to do, just the opposite. Hey, just so you know, somebody's going to call you because they, they hit me. That's <laughs> it. The other way I just show up and they fix it. Now I'm like, how much? I gotta, what's my deductible? I have a deductible. What is it? Why did I set it so high? Because I never used you it. Never use it. Unfortunately, knock on wood. Yeah. We don't Thank have any you. wood That's here. close. But anyway, all right. So I had something for you um, that I brought in today, but this was from a couple three days ago. I'm not even sure. It might have been Julie who even sent it in to us. Yeah. Oh, really? Possibly. Like stalker courthouse stalker Julie. <laughs> yes. And I, it might have been her or somebody, but somebody did send it into us, and it was they messaged us messaged us about a, a deal that's going on with a a website. It's called My Retreats Unlimited, and uh, if you're a fan of the Real Housewives, I am. Mm-hmm. Apparently, um, when they take some of their unbelievable vacations there's a possibility you can vacation with one or two of them that would be a fantastic so, so so not not the vacations that always turn into an absolute s show when it's a woman's tri- <laughs> a girl's trip and it just turns into a disaster Hopefully not. um they've got vicky i would never go on a trip with vicky vicky dorinda? gundelson yeah dorinda all day dorinda really oh well, Dorinda's my favorite she is the sassiest i love dorinda <laughs> melissa yeah, I'd go with Melissa. I can't believe you know all these. I barely, I, can, I think I can picture Vicky and she Melissa is kind Gorka. of a mess. I don't remember any of that. But they, they're, they're working with this place called MyRetreatsUnlimited.com. And their getaways, uh, depending on what you want, if you want exercise, if you want mind, body, soul, whatever, food, you just want to hang out, it doesn't matter. Um, and maybe get a little, spill a little tea. Who knows? Find out some inside information. 
Um, so they're having their retreats. I think they start in September and they're out in California. But you can go to that website. September, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I would do that. Um, Vicky's is in California at the end of September. And I wouldn't go downstairs to the third floor to go hang out with Vicky. <laughs> so that one's off the table. Okay, then Dorinda, she is going to be um, hosting hers in Orlando. And that's in October. Okay. And um, says that based on her signature catchphrase, she's here to make all things nice in your life. Um, so you'll get to hang out with her, do a little yoga. Little 80s aerobic class, maybe? No, I just want to drink with them. <laughs> Cooking, drinking. I want to drink and cuss. And then Melissa, she's New Jersey, by the way. She's from New Jersey, um, cast. Anyway, hers, it looks like will be in Miami at the end of September as well. And that's going to be, I don't know. She's got some tricks over up her sleeve. But anyway, it costs you a little bit of money. It's about four grand. I, if, if I was guaranteed to be able to actually spend time with them and hang out with them, I would. I don't want to go with eight hundred other screaming ladies. I just want to go with. <laughs> well, see that would me and be Dorinda, maybe you, Beth and I and Dorinda. Right, you think about it, you'd kind of stand out from the crowd. Uh, there's a, there's a lot probably, more guys, a lot more guys than you really? think that watch. Oh yeah, there's a lot more. I was talking to my brother last night, and he, are you kidding? He doesn't watch any. Okay, of them, but his girlfriend does, and his friends in Kansas City do. Husband and wife, and just like Beth and I, we they save the show. They don't watch watch the shows without each other. Right. That's. So I would weird. freak out if she That's knew what weird. happened with oh. Dorinda and the ladies, and I didn't. So, so, so all three three of these are still currently. Uh, I think I think Vicky's out. I think Vicky's off the show. I think I think like moving forward, she's going right. to be off the show. Um, but she, but yeah, D- Dorinda is uh, like one of the main ones on New York. Um, Melissa is one of the main ones on Jersey. And who's the other one? Dorinda, Melissa, Dorinda, Melissa, and Vicky. Vicky, okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, those there. I mean, there and Vicky was one of the main OGs in there, but she's been. That's interesting because they've, or maybe she's not. I think she's just kind of engaged. I, whatever. I don't know. You'll get caught up soon. Yeah. Do you watch the shows as they happen, or do you stockpile them and then sit and kind of binge? Uh, we watch them the day after usually. Okay, just curious. Yeah. All right, all right. Then another one for you. This is an alcohol warning. Below deck is another great one too. Below deck. Below deck is below awesome. Below deck. Below. Yeah. Okay. Be below. <laughs> Oh yeah, Blow Deck is a different. <laughs> that's on Hulu Plus. That's exactly what I heard. I was like, "What?" Below Deck, because it's Below Deck Med. Use and all your vowels. Use and, all your and vowels. Slow down. <laughs> it, it's uh, the chef this year on Below Deck Med is supposedly like culinarily trained in France. All these beautiful pictures, but she's a disaster. She, I think, she faked it. Because the first meal, oh. she was microwaving steaks uh-uh. and she was making nachos where it was just chips, cheese, and she took corn, drained the juice out of the corn and sprinkled corn on the chips. And the captain came down and she's like, what? <laughs> and then she made a cake, birthday cake the next episode. And it was like, it. there were balls of unstirred up um, so baking she, soda. Really? But they were out at sea. But they're out at sea. In the, in the Mediterranean, these people pay upwards of $200,000 for four days on this boat. And the chef and the food is like the centerpiece of this. Oh my God. And the next episode, I can't wait for oh next week. Oh my God, I've never seen this. Captain Sandy came down to, to complain <laughs> and she's looking at and she's putting like canned um, crab on something and the guests are finally complaining and they're like listen this crab is fishy and sandy's gonna drop the science on is on it even ship. real crab or is it imitation mm-hmm. Probably, we'll find imitation. out next week imitation is made out of cod isn't it i love it i do too i can eat it right out of the bag i do get those little bags of the crumbles or the pull aparts good stuff oh, that's, that's, that's all i need something else you said made me think of something Oh, there you go. Phone. Is that your brain? <laughs> that is that your brain? Phone. <laughs> Hold on. There was something you said that made me think of something. Then I got caught up in the story about. That's for, God, I wish I could remember what I was gonna, what I was thinking of because a, a story popped in my. Oh, I know what it was when you mentioned microwaving steaks. Yeah. A friend of a friend. Yeah. She puts ranch on her steak. Yeah, I do not. That. That's good. Is that? That's Seriously? Good. Yeah, try it. I mean, I, I don't pour it on the top, but I'll put it. If, it's, if it's a good steak, our, our friend John and Lincoln makes the best steaks I've ever had in my life. I would never do that on those. A great, fantastic steak. Right. But a, just a steak steak. Ranch? Cut it in little slices, dip it in the ranch and eat it. Yeah. I like something a little more zesty, I guess. Because well, I feel the same ranch. way about ketchup too. I feel the same way about, it's like, 
Oh. Yeah, it's but it's good. A one, I can understand a little bit. A one, try or horseradish, try a little it. horseradish, but not no. Try okay. it. Never mind. It's delish. I all that it's, for I think ranch. It's I think it's illegal. All that for questioning <laughs> ranch. <laughs> yeah, that's all. It <laughs> okay, back to my my alcohol alert. Okay, this is for okay. So summertime, um, hanging outside, outdoor parties, and possibly making some margaritas. All right, love them. Okay, so and especially. Yeah, because we're we're in. I mean, this is uh, July Fourth. It's just around the corner. Yeah. Um, maybe making some margaritas and making them with fresh squeezed limes, um, adding the tequila, putting everything in, then having a day in the sun, and then wake up the next morning, your hands are blistered. Oh my gosh, I saw this online. Margarita burn. Yeah, I'd never heard of this before. I had neither. But it's a skin condition that apparently the skin reacts to certain chemicals, especially those found in citrus fruits that cause the skin to be more sensitive in the sun and you don't even realize it. It's like, it's like laying out with baby oil on, um, but you don't realize it at the time that it's happening. It's kind of a slow cook. And then the next day, oh, blisters. Blisters look terrible. Be careful. Yeah, I'd never heard of this before. N- and never in my entire life no. ever heard of that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So there's your PSA for the day. So just be very, very Public careful. Public service <laughs> announcement. P, P-S, P to the, to the A. S A. Sorry, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> sizzle um <laughs> uh, and i know we're kind of running out of time here but on uh, tomorrow's episode this will be the, yeah tomorrow's episode we're going to have um christy anderson is going to be yes um and she's working with bud crawford terrence crawford fighter i'm fighting in this boxing event, academy fighting in this uh, charity event coming up on the 27th we've seen it on on facebook and stuff and uh what I almost would have been on national news on espn <laughs> definitely local Probably Fox and CNN. Uh huh. If, if something happened right before we were at at B and B down on twenty, or you were 33rd, you were down you were checking in with, uh, with it, the champ. Yeah, and we're and I posted some pictures on our on our social media like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Yes, um, it's all there. But I almost seriously made not even joking, not exaggerating, made the national news because of something I would I would have done to the champ. It was awful. So I'll tell that story tomorrow when Chris Great. is in here. Because Are they still going to let you fight? I don't know. Oh. See, the boxing event's coming up on the 27th. It's B&B Sports Academy Celebrity Fight Night that's coming up on the 27th. And I see they're posting everybody's pictures in here. Your pictures aren't in here yet with your opponent. Um, we see Andy Hoig is going to be going up against Megan Bird from uh, KFAB. And the, so those pictures are in here. Great pictures. And then I scroll a bit further. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, Aaron Davis. Yeah. Taking on um, Josh Dotzler. Yeah. There's also, it. those pictures are in here too. And I know, and mine's not up there. I don't know why. I have to I talk to Christy see. about that. I mean, I'm obviously the mm. eye candy of the whole event. So <laughs> why am I not up there? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, and uh, Johnny Torres and Jim Flannery were the other ones. But yeah, you guys aren't in there. And you're... St- and I've been Stibbs from um, The Zone. Works yeah, with Mike the Stibbs. Boys. Yeah. That's um, right. Is he so, working for the Afternoon Boys or Ba? <laughs> Stibbs, is he Ba? It doesn't matter. Stibbs from uh, uh, Mike Mike Stibbs. What's his first name? He's on, yeah, on Sportsmanlike Conduct. Okay, in the afternoon. So he's in the afternoon. So you, how did I not, not know, just know that? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't know that. Oh well, it's during nap time. I know a couple people down there. I'm, so I'm excited to fight. <laughs> so and, I, and yeah. uh, I see that your best friend, your BFF, Damon Benning, is going to be down there too. Yeah. Yep. Um, and that's he's going to be one of the judges. And, and and on Friday, I've got I was able to grab Terrence for fit like three minutes and talk to him when They're I was supposed there to be coaching night. you guys. Yeah. So did he give you some tips? And I asked him if I looked like a fighter and he said, no. <laughs> what, did, what did he say you did look like? Uh, a wrestler. And I you said were, a good you, one. And he go. goes, ah. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> he tries to be nice. Yeah. He, he, he wanted he to be tried, polite, he right? Did. He tried he's to be really polite. Pretty yeah. cool guy, but yeah. he's got a really cool setup. Uh, their sports Academy for kids. Um, the, and is it like 17 and under or 18 and under, no, or is it just kind of like whatever, whatever if the, the kids to have a place to be, um, to learn yeah. some skills, but you, you have to pay attention oh, when yeah. you're there. They're, they're big on accountability. You're they don't just there them. to jack around. They have, you know, they, they want you to do stuff, but I think the kids really appreciate it and it's free for the kids. It was unbelievable. Which is amazing. It's really cool. And it's cool to hear. And I was asking him about that and he went in depth on why they're doing it and they're adding a whole bunch of other things. Do we have things, some like audio tutoring. from that that we're going to do? For tomorrow. Oh yeah. I've got, for, with okay, Christy? Yep. Good, 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 good. Um, before we get to our guest that's coming in, um, which is kind of cool, is we've got Nebraska Tourism. They have a passport program 
And I just, I think it's really cool and I've never done it. Um, but before we get to her, uh, we have Madison Schlake, who is in studio with us. I'm going to talk a little bit about Kugler Vision, because Kugler Vision, obviously, uh, Dr. Kugler was in with us this week. Learned a lot about him. Yeah. Really did. did. And, cool guy. Uh, very cool guy. Um, and if you want to hashtag see Nebraska. By the end of this week, I will have my uh, You'll have your consultation, have consultation done. consultation, yeah. So. Uh, hashtag see Omaha. You don't want to miss out on any of it. Cooglervision.com. That's where you start the journey. And we've had more than a few people that have been letting us know they've set up their consultations because they've been curious about doing this and having the procedure done to get rid of the contacts, get rid of the glasses. So yeah, set yours up. The consultation tab's right there at Cooglervision.com. And they'll run you through the tests and, and eye health important, vision correction important. Another thing that's important is when you do sign up and ask where you heard of it, there's a little other box, click other and write Pat and JT podcast. We want to be your write in. Yep. That's it. That's all we ask. We want to be your Ross Perot, <laughs> yo. And if you get a chance to, to tell Dr. Kugler, thank you uh, for being a supporter of our podcast, because we really appreciate it. Uh, in the studio, we have a special guest today. Madison Schleich is with us from the Nebraska Department of Tourism. Yep. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you guys have been, uh, let's see, this May... Was the kickoff month for the passport program? Yep, May 1st. May 1st was. So mm -hmm. things about a month into it right now. How long does the passport program go for tourism? So it goes until September 30th okay. is when the last day you can get stamps. This, I just, I, Nebraska tourism in general, I, the state, I think, very underrated. <laughs> even if, by people who live here. I, I think would agree. There are yeah. a lot of hidden gems that I people don't know even about. Even people, because we have a lot of visitors, like for the College World Series specifically, mm -hmm. that rave about our state and love Omaha, Lincoln, love the, love our state. Do the day trips. So yeah, so they appreciate it. But the people that live here, it's like we don't see what we're missing every single day. I think, I think and when we have right. opportunity to visit you know staycations totally overused but honestly just vacation in our state yeah yeah well that's how we we market the passport quite a bit is just kind of as a staycation because it's really good for families who just don't have a ton of time to you know book a flight for eight people to florida for the weekend right but they're like oh you know it'd be really nice is if we could just take a little road trip and then it's people just love it it's so much fun and they staycation is a good way to describe it yeah. for a few people some Let's, other people make a long vacation out of it. But, I, think it yeah. I think it'd be so much fun. Um, just, I mean, every county in the state has something unique about it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of counties. But it would be kind of fun if you haven't been to a, a, every county or even across the state. I think for a lot of people, the Sandhills is still a foreign country. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and for some people in the Sandhills, mm -hmm. Omaha and Lincoln are a foreign country. <laughs> yeah. It's right. kind of like the 308-402 divide a little bit. <laughs> yeah. If for some people that don't know, what is the passport system? <laughs> so the passport program <laughs> is... Uh, basically something that goes from May 1st to September 30th of every year. And it has 70 kind of hidden gems is what we like to call it um, throughout the state. And they vary from recreation, family fun things. So like state parks to um, really unique restaurants, to coffee shops, to museums. There's a lot of kind of boutique -y type things. There's really quirky stuff like Car Hinge is on it this year because it's for the 10th anniversary. You've done kind of some fan favorites. Um, and so Car Hinge is on it because it's like the one Nebraska thing that like everyone. Yeah. Like, oh, everyone knows about that. They know weird about it. Yeah. Stonehenge thing. But for our new marketing campaign, we have one that says uh, like Stonehenge, but a newer model. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, so it has 70 stops. And then um, at the end of the year or at the end of the season, you turn in kind of a sheet at the back because you get mm -hmm. it stamped when you go to a, a stop. Um, so you can either do it with the booklet or the app, but we suggest doing both because the app has a lot of extra perks. But um, then you turn in your thing in the back of the booklet and we send you prizes based on how many stops you went to. You ever had yeah. you people complete all of them? Yes, we've already had 14 complete all 70. So pretty much every year, about half the stops roughly are completely new to the program and okay. the other half are ones that kind of are kind of come back every three or four years or so so there's things like moral halls on it this year because they open their fourth floor for the first oh time God. in like 50 some years i think that was like my first um field trip yeah it was yeah oh yeah moral hall yep. uh -huh. um and seen, seen that seen big giant pig thing the oh, wow. it's a um, mammoth his mammoth. name is archie no mammoth? not not the woolly oh. mammoth this was a different one this was like a, i was about um, to be offended for all <laughs> yeah. unl no, I, students I, for you I, what, <laughs> pig, what pig, well, that maybe was I went, that was a I, petting zoo maybe i got on the I wrong <laughs> bus <laughs> It was, I, it it was, wasn't, that was a farm. You were a farm. Really? I don't know where you are. Yeah, my parents screwed me. <laughs> yeah. You're going on a field trip today, son. 
Um, it was something weird looking. It had like a snout. It wasn't a. It wasn't a woolly mammoth. Ant, like inside an eater. Yeah, it was yeah, inside. Yeah. It wasn't ant eater. Like a giant ant. There were giant. There were may have been. Well, well okay, so yeah, they, they, they opened their fourth floor, and I I have not been up there. I've stopped by Moral Hall, but I haven't been upstairs yet. And it's apparently it's just wonderful and they're like oh my gosh the fourth floor yeah so that's I don't know. cool see yeah. that's all that stuff so for nebraskans themselves mm-hmm. um how do they get a hold of one of these passport books yeah so you can either visit one of the 70 stops they'll all have booklets in their possession mm-hmm. but um the really the easiest way if you don't want to leave the house um <laughs> you can go to nebraskapassport.com and there's a request your nebraska passport button and you just click that and fill out the information and then i will send them your way and there's an app too you said right yes so there's a nebraska passport app and um the app is really great for everyone to have purely because you can go to a stop and maybe you get there right after it closes and if you you can't get a stamp so you can get a stamp or i always send out um like updates all the time for uh, you know hours or maybe like when all the flooding was going on we had a few roads that were closed so i would send out some updates of like hey you can't go on 136 to brownville today you have to go through this other town and that's how you'll get there oh that's good that's Um, good info this is some good information because we're rolling into summer people Mm -hmm. are starting to think you know kids may be going to some camps but maybe it's time to get a vacation and with the kids do a little day tripping and uh, save some money. It's, easy it's to do. really easy to get ten. I mean, I again, I've been I've been working for the tourism commission for a month, and I already have twenty five stops down. So it can be done. Yeah. It's not go. it's not that difficult, really. I mean, I mean, it. I know it seems really daunting to be like, oh my gosh, seventy. But there's a ton of people who just get the the passport bug, and then they um, yeah. The st- they say stamps is are, are addictive, so you go around and you're like, okay, I'm at, I'm oh, at, sure. I'm at, yeah. it's like, I'm at it's 12. What if yeah. I, I can get 25? It's fine. <laughs> right. It's like the the Pokemon Go craze. Yeah. You know, you have to get yeah. like it's 19 crazy. Pikachus. Oh. You just you yeah. go and you drive and drive and drive. Yeah. It's addictive. It is addictive. This and is I true. can go into the prizes too. That might sure. be something that would be helpful. Um, so this year for our 10th anniversary, we have like a little 10th year commemorative token awesome. for if you get 10 stamps. And if you get 25, you get a visit number a calendar which is actually really cool because it has postcards in the calendar nice. they like cool. kind of come off the calendar and like Ooh, the pictures neat. it's kind of fun yeah um and then 50 is a baker's candies gift box Lovely. so chocolate oh. and then 70 which is you know the big kahuna um is a, you get a passport champion T-shirt and then a hundred dollars in Nebraska lottery vouchers. Sweet, and it's, that's so not, you could be a millionaire. Yeah, that's worth you it. You could be a millionaire. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty huge. That's worth it. But the yeah, drive. it's kind of it's in my personal opinion, it's it's not for the prizes. I no. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't get. I don't theoretically get the prizes. Anyway. The prizes are but, fun, though. The but prizes no, are the fun. The prizes are fun, and it's a it's a fun little added bonus. But really, it's it's going to be able to see these and support these businesses that are, you just didn't know existed is yeah. by far the best. And I will say there are quite a few breweries and uh, wineries included on this list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if there's always a happy hour tour, and there's always a food oh, tour. Plan accordingly. And right. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds great, Madison. Always. Thank you. Nice Absolutely. to meet you, thank Madison. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys yeah, as well. Thanks. I appreciate you having me on. Now, if you want to hear more information about the Nebraska Passport Program. We have an entire episode that is dedicated strictly to Madison and the Passport Program. It's a bonus episode. You probably see it right there on the it's list right, right now. in front of you. Don't let that throw you off. It's our first bonus episode ever. So right. don't be scared. It's awesome. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.